On Monday afternoon, members of Jackson Hole Mountain Resort Ski Patrol were scrambling to loosen snow around the bowls by firing a howitzer after the headwall slid Monday morning. Upper mountain lifts were closed for the day, though Bridget Gondola continued to run without passengers. Sales of the nearby shops were bolstered by the boredom of restricted access. T.J. Sullivan of Jackson Hole Mountain Sports said they had completely sold out of avalanche beacons on Sunday. This was a tough break for local celebrity Harrison Ford, who came in on Monday hoping to buy six beacons for himself. Sullivan said the store had to tell him that they were all out. Jackson Hole Mountain Sports has ordered more than two dozen new beacons and expects them to arrive on Tuesday. Jack Dennis also reported being sold out of transceivers. Meanwhile, unsatisfied powder hounds found their way to hotel rooms, bars, restaurants, and in the start bus line. Many mountain visitors have become wary of threats of continued danger from avalanches on the mountain. Tourists like Michael and Philippe Blazidic of Toronto said they were frustrated by coming all the way down with little actual slope time to show for, but understand that it's better to shut down if it's in order to save a life. Natives of Worcester, England, Stuart and Avril Monday agreed, saying, it's just one of those things, but it's better than coming all this way for no snow. Snow, lifts or not, that didn't stop locals and tourists from finding other means of entertainment. PPRs taste even better when you're standing around at the base of North America's top-rated ski destination and watching the patrol blow it up. But if you find yourself stuck at the bottom of the mountain without a ride up, remember, PBRs come in tall boys too. For 22 Local, this is Tyler Alford.